Welcome back, everybody. Very excited about today and this week's topic about collaboration at Mindsights. That's our topic for the day. And you know why I'm excited about this? Because it is one of those silver bullets that will help you excel in your career and also help you to work a lot better with other people in your career. So let me ask and start with a question to you to ask, how often are you frustrated with other departments? Probably a lot. And today we're going to talk and be a lot more practical about some practical tips. How, how do you have less of those frustrations working with other departments at the mine site? And how do you actually go about developing those relationships? And I will start with my own story and some practical examples of how do we do this better and how do we actually, how do we not do it? So as most of you know by now, I'm a mining engineer and I started off uh, without being a mining engineer, I started as a lunar official and at, you know, at a later stage only graduated. So I got into, call it the core of mining with my, the mining discipline, working myself uh, up in the ranks. But what very quickly happens with you in that, if you, if you, uh, if you start your career like that, is that you you become part of a subculture at a mine that you are in the mining department. And there are these other departments that don't understand what we're doing. And I was sort of in that mindset as well. So the maintenance or engineering departments that have to fix the equipment that we use to mine, they are always in the wrong and we are right and they should be fixing our equipment and why don't I have my equipment to use uh, for my mining activities? Uh, or you are in in finance and you just cannot understand why these production departments keep overspending their budgets and why they don't see that the specific overexpenditure for a particular item is so excessive. Like truck tires, for example, you know, these, we are only getting 800 hours out of a tire where we should be getting 1,500 out of uh, tires, uh, hours out of a tire. And you are very frustrated with uh, the miners, or you are in maintenance and you keep on fixing this machine that, uh, or this drill, or whatever piece of equipment it is that you are maintaining, and your fellow mining colleagues just keep on breaking this drill and they just don't get it, and you are very frustrated with them. So it is normal in my at mine sites that we are in these silos and we grow up in these subcultures where we defend our department and today's topic about collaboration collaboration at at mine sites is about stepping out of your comfort zone to actually make the effort of learning from other departments why why is what they are doing equally important to what you are doing? One of a great, the great mentors in my life, Rikus Grimbiek, uh, once said, and I quote him, and he taught me this so well, is that there's nobody that's more important than somebody else at a mine site. Even the CEO is not more important. Everybody has got equal jobs. We just do different jobs. Equal. Everybody is equally important. We just have different jobs that we do. And I thought that was very good when I first heard that. And I've been using that same philosophy after I heard that the first time, that we all in different departments have equally important jobs to do for the business. They are just different jobs. And... Once you get to that realization and you open your mind to that fact, you will work a lot better with the other departments. And when I was 
in the mid management ranks, I was a mining section manager or an underground manager responsible for for two shafts uh, and my colleague on the engineering front was responsible for all the maintenance and he was a lot older than me about 20 years older than me he was close to retirement but one thing i did really well and i'm not just you know, blowing my own trumpet. But I realized very quickly because when I arrived at the mine site, there was the big fights between the mining department and the engineering department or the maintenance department. And they, there was this constant battle between uh, production shift supervisors and the maintenance foremen uh, that were fighting with one another. The artisans were fighting with the mining people, the shift supervisors and the miners. And so it was clear to me that there's this big division. And him and I discussed, Maud Render, he's already passed away, bless his soul. He, he was a wonderful mentor and coach in my life, but he was in charge of maintenance. And we quickly got together and said, we need to break this, this subculture between the two departments. And what we did practically is we would go and visit uh, different areas underground or on surface together as a team. And so I started to understand his life and what he's struggling with or his team are dealing with. And he understood my context and my frame of reference from my team members and what we are dealing with. And we, we started to find solutions together by working together. And our teams uh, that were part of part of our teams, they started seeing that the leadership are working together and they're closely collaborating. And uh, they don't just pick one side story for that day and then just defend that reality while the other one is defending their team and that reality. And the teams that were reporting to us started realizing that we are going to have a balanced view of the problem that we are dealing with at that stage and that we are going to listen to both sides and try and understand and find a solution that's best for the business, not necessarily for that department. And that quickly started changing the, the subculture at the mine and we started getting a lot better results. And then the same goes for any other, and I can I can give a, a few more examples. One example was between the mine mining production area and the plant, and the plant was constantly struggling with a, a large variability of the ore mix that we sent from from the mine to the plant, and the plant manager was very frustrated because uh, he couldn't. Uh, couldn't actually predict and get good recoveries and concentrate grade because of the variability of the ore that, that came from the underground. But when we started working together as a team, we, we worked very closely with the technical services, um, the mine plan engineering team, and we reintroduced underground silos to do blending um, so that we can blend the ore types. We found better blending methodologies and we started getting a lot of more better predictability of the ore that we supply to, to the plant. And as a result, the plant could have a lot better throughput. The plant could get much better recoveries and concentrate grade and predictability. And so we had, once again, record-breaking results for this mine. But it, it, was, it was really about working together as a team and leveraging the different skill sets that we had in the team both from a technical services and, and the, call it the, the great control team side, as well as um, the geologist that, uh, was, that told us what, what blocks of ground and the grade that we could expect, as well as then sampling and, you know, then the maintenance team working together uh, in terms of, of, of their part. But we were working as a team. And... I guess the same goes for every other department, whether it's a laboratory that you work in the lab uh, and trying to understand why suddenly you have to do 3,000 samples a day versus your, your normal 500 samples a day of test work 
or whether it's procurement and uh, you have to supply the equipment uh, to the main to, to the production areas and so it's really about stepping out of your comfort zone and your choice of department and learning from the other departments and being willing and open-minded to actually go and learn and, and really understand the challenges that they are dealing with. And so a lot of our challenges in mining is that, uh, or in our different departments, is we just don't have an open mind. We have decided beforehand that I will defend my team and that's sort of from a sports background, you know, you like always defending your team first and the team, um, the team comes first. And it, in business and in successful mining, it doesn't work like that. It is a team sport. We have to, we have to put on the glasses, the spectacles of that other team and go and step into their boots and to understand why they are challenged with um, with what you are delivering to them or not delivering to them and try and find a solution to the problem as opposed to attacking the people. So the um, final thing on this topic is it is not easy. It is not easy to break those culture, cultures, subcultures. And one thing that was clear to me and a lot of us that have gone through this process of how do you break these subcultures is to actually acknowledge that there is a problem and not to choose sides from the beginning and say and attack the problem as opposed to the people. And so you can only do that through through facts and figures and reality and then work jointly to find a solution. And so for the for that culture shift to take place as leaders our biggest challenge is to then actually voice that where you have gone wrong and what have you done wrong and or your team. And it's maybe for good reason that you've done it that way for many years or for many months or weeks, but to acknowledge there is a problem and then, then acknowledge that we have to change it. And this is the reason for the change. And people will mostly buy into that if they're given the reasons for that, they're given the numbers, they're given the facts, but also that that we separate the people from the problem and not taking it personal. So that's the um, very short topic for today. But I do want to challenge, us, challenge you today on do you have an open mind? Are you willing to step out of your comfort zone? and go to the other departments and learn from them. And, and finally, are you willing to admit mistakes and do something about it, give some action uh, to change things? And just be honest with how do you solve the problem going forward? Collaboration and teamwork yields incredible results. I can testify to that. Mining is a team sport. Thanks for listening this week. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your mining. Cheers.